Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Defeat. In this video, we're going to be comparing the Saucony Endorphin Pro to the Hoka One One Carbon X. So these are both carbon plated shoes, both made for the race day. Quite a lot of stack height underneath the foot, and you're going to be sinking into both of them quite nicely. Uh, they are kind of different cushioning systems, both targeting a, uh, the similar runner. So with these, they are just racing shoes. You can easily do a half or full marathon, even a quick 10K in these. Uh, very lightweight for the amount of cushioning and just the different propulsion that the carbon plate has as well as the kind of stability and rigid rigidity it does offer. Firstly, breaking down the outsoles, the Hoka One One Carbon X uses an armat, so there's a, it's rubber-infused EVA. What that does is it eliminates any rubber, so it detracts a bit of the weight from it, and it makes it quite a bit sticky, uh, but you don't have as much durability out of a rubber-infused EVA as you do carbon rubber with the Saucony. So with the Saucony, you've got a lot of carbon rubber, especially in that forefoot, not a whole lot in that landing zone, just because with a race day shoe, you should be landing a lot more onto your midfoot as well as your forefoot side. There's a lot of carbon rubber there. It's gonna handle a ton of case, slightly bit more than the Carbon X, uh, just since it does have that rubber underneath. Moving on to your midsole, so these are quite different units. With your Saucony, they are using a Power Run PB, so what that is, that's a PBAX unit. It's slightly different stack heights between the plate itself, so I felt with running in this, the, you, the first layer above the carbon plate is where you got, kind of get a lot of your cushioning from, and the lower beneath is where you get most of the shock absorption, so the, it cancels out a lot of the shock absorption onto the legs, and you just kind of feel like you're running on that carbon plate. Uh, it does have a nice kind of quick toe off, uh, you don't really notice the carbon plate too much until you get onto your forefoot and it just gets you onto that next step quite quickly. With the Carbon X, you've got your Profi X as your top sole and your, underneath your carbon plate is that armor. With the Profi, you've got a slightly more kind of sink in feel. I wouldn't say it's as poppy or as bouncy as the Power Run PV that Saucony use, but it's slightly more kind of a plusher feel. I don't feel you get as much snapback in the actual cushioning itself. Uh, with the rigidity of the carbon plate, it just acts as a nice guidance. So you definitely feel your carbon plate a lot more in the Carbon X, uh, especially in the landing phase as well as your toe off. So it just feels like you're on this big plank of carbon. Uh, instead of running on the ground, there's just quite a lot of platform that you're actually running on. Nice pleasurable feel on both. Uh, out of these two, I definitely choose the Saucony Endorphin Pro when it comes to the cushioning system as well as the carbon plate system as well. Just getting your cadence a slight bit higher. Uh, whereas your Carbon X would probably look at it more of a, a tempo day shoe. Uh, their Carbon Rocket X coming out shortly will probably match up quite nicely with the Endorphin Pro. Slightly bit more of a sink in feel with the Carbon X, you get that kind of slightly plusher. With your Saucony Endorphin Pro, is that a bit more of a bouncy shoe. Uh, if you do want to do a lot more speed work and want something that still takes the shock away quite nicely, uh, your Endorphin Pro will easily do that. Moving on to your uppers, so very, very similar uppers, both running with a one piece and both have like a neoprene tongue in them as well. So very similar uppers, both don't really have a heel counter. Uh, they just use a bit of, well, the Hoka uses the embroidery to get that bit more structure around that heel, uh, whereas the Saucony Endorphin Pro just uses a bit of 3D print. So very, very similar uppers, both breathable, both fit true to size. Slight bit more of a round toe box on your Saucony Endorphin Pro, so if you do have a slight bit more of a splayed foot, even a wider foot as such, it may end up fitting that bit better. Um, but both very breathable, hold the foot in nicely. I have accommodated the lock lace loop on this or the runner's knot, so just locks the back half of the shoe quite a bit better around the foot. Very good uppers, very breathable, uh, can lock down the foot quite nicely compared to some others on the market. If you are looking to toss up between these shoes and actually want to run in something, personally I'll choose the Saucony Endorphin Pro uh, just because it's kind of that race shoe I thought all these racing carbon shoes were made to be. It just sinks in nicely, a lot of shock absorption but it definitely gives you that energy return or that bounce back and just gets you onto that next step quite quickly. But yeah, if you've got any questions between both of these shoes, let us know in the comments. I've been Kez from Beyond the Feet and we'll see you in another video.